Okay, so now let us start with creating a bundled product. So what I need to do is I need to go to product tab and here I will create the bundle product and my bundle product name is wedge sandwich, right? Now I should give a product code to it, okay? And then the configuration type. Now this is where you will mark it as a bundle product. And for option products, I will mark it as option, okay? And let's enable this and also you should select has options because if you do not select has options then the system won't go and look for its options so for bundle product you should select has options and then i will select must configure when i select must configure then this must configure button appears on the cart and you cannot add the product itself so you cannot add the wedge sandwich before you configuring it right so that's why you should select must configure here now there are scenarios where you do not want to keep this checked okay there are scenarios so for example if you want that this wedge sandwich should get added without the configuration then you can keep the must configure checkbox as false so let's keep it false i don't want to keep it false but let me just keep it false so that i can show you how this button works how this checkbox works okay and then click on save then go to related and here in the price list you have to select which price list so it is spa kitchen us price list and what is the charge type it is the standard price one time charges per unit method it should be active and then the list price so i do not want to give any price to my wedge sandwich okay all the pricing depends on the option so if that is the case, then give the list price as zero. But if let's say you do not want to, now there are scenarios where you do not want to get into the options. You just want that product and you do not want to go into the options. That means you do not want to do any configuration. So you remember in product, which in the product setup, there is a checkbox called must configure. Now if that must configure is true then in that case you have to select the options you have to configure it you cannot add it directly into the cart but for now i have set it to false then in that case if i do not give any list price then the wedge sandwich will get added and you know what this once this wedge sandwich get added you have to you should keep some amount for it so let's say i'm keeping it as 20 list 20 us dollar as a list price okay so even if you do not configure it you get it added then in that case the customer has to pay 20 us dollar you can keep here zero as well but if you keep it here as zero then you should set the must configure as true on the product level then price you then price measurement it is for each unit all right and that's it let's save it so this is the setup for the bundled product now in this bundled product i would like to add my options now since we have various options what i am doing is i have created one excel sheet where i have listed down what all option products i want to introduce okay and i want to keep them active i have set the product code for them and the configuration type for each of these option product is option and for them has option has attributes and customizable all these check boxes are false so what i will do i'll do a i'll perform a bulk insert for product object so i'll just select this table and i will be using salesforce inspector for that purpose so go to data import and here select product 2 you can do it in any ways you can create it manually as well and then just paste the data and click on import okay once it is done just copy this excel copy this excel format and why i'm copying it because i need ids okay so open this in the new sheet and here you will have the product id so i'll delete all these columns b2h so these are the product ids and i need them why because now i want to add the price line item as well and for that i need the id for products so let us add the list price for each of them so for brown bread the list price decided is five us dollar for white bread it is four for potato stuffing it is 10 
then for paneer stuffing it is 15 then for mixed veg stuffing it is 12 for mustard sauce 1 tomato sauce 1 chili sauce 1 and for tomato slices it is 0 0.5 okay now i need to keep this list price so what i'll do i will just i have this sheet ready this sheet is for now what i will do i will go to this price list item sheet and here i have all these price list id so the price list which we are going to use is the same price list which is uh, we use for which is the one we are using for all that is park kitchen us price book so this is the id okay since we know price list item is the junction object for price list as well as for product so here this is the price list id right and then for product id we have this information and its corresponding list price is right here so i'll just copy it and paste it here okay now i have all the information then these all are the standard price okay and all are one time price type they are per unit and they should be active okay so next i am going to do the bulk update for plis price list item so i'm selecting this and here in the data import i'll select price list item and insert these information this data and then import all right so now see that this operation has been completed successfully now if i go here in the products okay and refresh and switch over to the all products now i can see that I see tomato slices, tomato sauce, veg sandwich, all my option products are added now. Okay. And if I go to any of my option product like brown bread, I can see that it is also added to the price list. So this setup has been done. I have inserted all the option product along with their price list so that they can be so that they can appear in the cart. Right now. Now, what is the next thing? Now, next thing is to add these products into the wedge sandwich. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing is to create the bundle. So, let me go back to the bundle. So, let me go back to the bundle product, which is wedge sandwich, right? This is our bundle product. And here, if I go to product console, now this is the button which I am, which I have added. It might not be there by default. You have to configure, you have to make a change in the layout to add this button, product console. So click on this product console and then it opens a console where you can configure your product. So this time I want to manage the bundles, right? So under catalog, you find this option, manage bundles and options. So let's click on this manage bundles and options. So it says that no product option or group selected, select an option from the tree on the left. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to create one option group. Okay. So, so, so you remember, this is what we want. We want wedge sandwich to be bundle product. This is done. And now on the, under this, we want to create these option groups, bread, stuffing, sauce, and slices. So let's do it right away. So I am creating one new option group and the name is bread. Okay. And then you save it. So this is one option group, which I have just created and it will appear here. Okay. And then let's say I want to add another option group. So what is the next option group I want to use is the stuffing. So click on create new and use and just type stuffing here and save. So this is the next option group I have added. Okay. Then the third one, which I want is sauce and then slices. So third one I want is sauce and then slices. So create new and then sauce. And the fourth one I want is slices. Okay. So these four option groups we see here. Now under bread, I want to add two products. Now this two products are the option products. Now here, if I scroll down, I see, so either you can search your products, okay, or you can just select them by scrolling down. So I want the bread products. So for bread, I see one brown bread. Okay, here it is the white bread and just associate it. So we have brown bread and white bread under breads. 
Let's just save this and then go to stuffing. In stuffing, you need to add paneer stuffing and potato stuffing, then mixed veg stuffing and then associate all the three under the stuffing option group. So this is option group. Bread is the option group and brown bread, white bread, mixed veg stuffing, paneer stuffing, they are what? They are basically options. Then same for sauce. So in sauce, I know I need to add chili sauce. I need to add some other sauces, right? Let me just search for them. I need to add mustard sauce and okay. So these two you can add from here and then it will take you to the next page. And here, go to the next page and you will see tomato sauce, then associate this as well. So now we have all the three sauces and then in slices, I want to have cucumber slice, onion slice, okay? And the other slice is the tomato slice. So let me just associate these two. And then in the next page, you can find tomato slice. All right. Now you can use advanced search options as well. Here you can search for the term and the product will get filtered. If you have some advanced options, if you are having some advanced search, you can use some advanced options. Okay, you can add the rows and then you can give the filter conditions and so on. So that is also possible. All right, so we have these option groups and options configured. Now, what we need to do is we need to click on update view. Now, what this update view will do? Update view will run the batch job. Will run the job now, update view will run the job. Now, this job is a fast job which will run only for one bundle and that bundle is with sandwich. Okay, so I click on update view. Now, it has to be done. You have to always run the jobs because if you don't run the jobs, then that's a problem. You won't see the things in the cart. So, you must run the job. So, I have run the job and this is how it looks like. Now, let's now we have uh, other requirements, right? This we are, so we are not done yet. We have few more things to be configured. Like we have to make sure that user should not select more than one bread. User should not select more than one stuffing and so on. Okay. So now let us do one more thing. Uh, we will just go to our product, veg sandwich. And for this product, we will add the category. So this veg sandwich, we can say it should fall under meals okay we will keep it under meals so how to add this product under meals what you need to do is go to categories and here go to meal categories and then click on hierarchy manager and under meals this time you want to associate one more product and which product it is it is veg sandwich so if you click to the next page, this is the product you want to associate, which is a bundle product, right? And just click on associate. Okay, and save it. So now this meals is having two products under it. Okay, and what we need to do next is to run the batch job. So we will go to batch, Aptus batch updates. and go for category maintenance and here we will run the hierarchy job for meals why we are selecting meals because this is the only one which we have configured for a new product so no need to run it for all of them just run it for meals and that's it so it takes a while just refresh maybe it gets over by this time okay it is still processing So this job is completed and now let me go to proposal and click on configure products and see how the bundle product looks like. So here this time under meals I will see two product one is a rice ball the other one is veg sandwich and here you can see either you can add the veg sandwich directly to the cart by clicking clicking on add to cart button or there is an option to configure this veg sandwich why configure option is there because this is a bundle product 
in case for this product if i would have selected let me go back to this product okay now for this product if i would have selected must configure as true so this is wet sandwich right if i would have selected must configure as true then in that case you won't be able to add this product into the cart and you have no other option but to click on the configure product so let's click on the configure product and here it shows me all these options which we have set up like you have to select the bread you have to select the stuffing you have to select the sauce and then slices okay now we need to talk about it 